conceded a run yet. Good luck. Oh, it's Nick! Oh, and a missed chance! An opportunity there! Positions next here. Oh, use their feet there. Dunkley, nice chip and straight down the ground. Well, that... Oh my goodness, well, it's only our second touch of the ball, our first appearance in this T20 International Series. And Casey Schultz has picked up the first catch to get the first wicket here. And it's that dangerous Sophia Dunkley gone. Oh, that's a beautiful strike down the ground. Now that for sure is Sophia Dunkley. What a shot. And like she heard Stacey Ann King up here in the commentary box, cut away. To say that I was feeling there at one point. Is that right? Well, look at this one. Oh, just bisected the fielders. They'll be really pleased with this boundary. Same exact shot. Swept away. She's done exceptionally well. Oh, that's a shot of the day. Straight back down the ground. And both mid on and mid off up. So easy pickings for Dunkley. Wickets in hand. Don't lose too many in the power play. It goes high. There is a long one in place though. And she completes the catch. Big wicket of Nat Siva going down. And an important strike for Grimmon in her first over. Yeah, well taken coming off the long boundary there and um, Shiva's really given her wicket away um, being overly aggressive aggressive uh, two matches Get it. off the mark straight away Jones and goes through her innovation excellent innovation from Amy Jones she's a busy player and already into her work This will be more runs. First through a point, now through extra cover. Amy Jones showing her versatility. Ariel, two fielders in the deep, but in the gap. And this is turning out to be a big over for England and Amy Jones. She's having to just wait on it, Dunkley, but I think she's got enough on it. And all of a sudden, in the last couple of overs, the boundaries have begun to flow. Yeah, that's high up. Uh, it might fall into some space. No, Haley Matthews, the captain, looking back over her shoulders, held on to it. What an athlete. What a catch to get rid of the dangerous Dunkley. Yeah, and again, another start for Sophia Dunkley. And she'll be disappointed because previous games she has scored 44 of 31 and 43 of 43. This time around scoring 35 of 32 delivery. Well, that was struck down the ground that didn't get on it. It's Maya Bouchier. She's just been in for one ball. She's got a goal. Golden duck for Bouchier here at Kensington Oval. And Fraser picks up a second. And again, it just comes from that learning from a West Indian perspective that they're able to realize that Maya Bouchier just hasn't read those slower balls. Oh, there's a sound, there's a nick, and she's gone! First ball, what an over here from the Guyanese, Fraser! Yeah, well, she's definitely on a hat-trick now, Cherry and Fraser, but again, the cricket smarts and... Oh, awkward to switch hitting, looking, no, she knew right away, Amy Jones. Lofted it and easily taken by Alia Aline, another English wicket gone. And that'll help Shanita Grimmon's uh, figures as well. Oh, could this be a third one for her? Indeed it is. Shanita Grimmon, three wickets now in her three overs. And England, after 14, have fallen to 85. Wide a fine leg and will be a boundary. Catherine Brunt. And this one passed. Mid on, more runs on offer. The ball for the West Indies. Full toss, but in the gap. And over that third inside the circles. It's hit hard, but there is that deep cover there. Look for two. It should be a run out and is, but shouldn't take away from the fact that this has been a valuable partnership. It means that the West Indies will need 132 runs 
to win. Another big shout on a finger this time for the very next ball. It's a strike for England early. Yeah, definitely out from our commentary position. We were giving that out really just went right back on our stumps. Leading to a pitched up delivery. Ball just skidded on. And really, umpire had no choice but to raise the finger there. Just look at this. Clean balls. It's a double strike for Lauren Bell and this opening over for England. Disaster for the West Indies. Oh, it's beautifully struck straight down the ground from Hayley Matthews. But we know that to be uncharacteristic. Well swept, finally. And a boundary for Shemaine Campbell. Oh, same thing. Even finer this time behind square. Well done to Shemaine Campbell. Well, it looked a bit short, and you know Hayley Matthews will not miss out on that. Oh, glance away. Nice and fine again from Matthews for another boundary. From the West Indian batters. And this one runs away to four. Taken, and it's Dean again. It's always been Charlie Dean. Just her first time bowling in T20 International Cricket in this series. And eight wickets to her name now. And another one going down for the West Indies. Joseph, a couple of times in the series, she's been dismissed using her feet. Twice stumped. And now, this time the stumps rattled and Sophie Eckerson showing her promise. Straight through. Sarah Glenn, we were just mentioning the fact that she's had a tough time here in the Caribbean, but now striking and an important one, probably the most important one for England. Almost was a second, just agonizingly close. With the reach of that point field, I think it was. This time though, Dean has the last laugh. Charlie Dean, not sure what she's had here in the Caribbean, but it's led to wickets. Nine in the series now, in just three matches. Attack this. Well, Fletcher does attack. She gets an outside edge past Amy Jones, so that will be welcome runs for the West Indies. Let's see which has helped. Yeah, I got it past the fielder there. We'll bring her first boundary of the evening. Ooh. Right simple catch. simple catch <laughs> indeed we both ran to say it oh she got hold of that one that's a good shot terrific from shot from Shanita Grimman and gets the boundary that is a testament to how good she's been full Yorker at the stumps and success and she'll definitely be one of my choices to see opening that new ball with Katrin Brunt in that T20 World Cup. Just look at that delivery. Another one, two and two, and it's another Yorker. The fourth wicket for Bell. What a day she's having. And again, another dominating performance from England.